Hi, this is, okay. This is the fabulous Mother Diva. I am here at the Graffiti PR party in beautiful Hollywood, California. This is the pre-Grammy party, and I'm on the red carpet, and we're waiting for all of the fabulous people to come in. And we will be right back with some interviews from the Graffiti PR party. As you can see, I'm wearing my house. I'm keeping house music alive, and I'm here to cover all of the Grammy events. And we'll be right back. This is the fabulous Mother Diva, and I'm standing here with Brian Ronalds, who is an actor, a writer, a producer, director, a script super advisor, first assistant director, he does it all. <laughs> well, let's give it up for Mother Diva first, right guys? I mean, come on, Mother Diva, rock! Okay, the ambassador of house music. You gonna put some house music in some of your uh, next projects? You know what, you never know what's gonna come up in one of my next projects. So tell us what you've been working on, sweetie. Oh, you know what, I just got done producing a feature film um, with my brother, uh, Dean. Uh, he Get over he, here, Dean! He, oh, I don't even know where we went. Uh, he directed it, and... Um, I just had a movie come out last month where I co-star with uh, Michael Madsen and Dean Kane called Dirty Little Trick. And, uh, you know, we got a big year ahead of us with some more movies to be made. Now, I want to ask you this question because I'm about educating people. How do you see the future of independent producers and distributors? Because that's where, that's where we're going now, you know. Um, the industry has changed, and we all have to, you know, unify as one. But the independent medium has always been the underdog. So I want you to, you know, kind of expound on that for us. No, that's, no I, I, I love that. I mean, you want, you want two hours? Because uh, the industry is changing so much, you know. Um, as far as independent filmmaking, the, the cost of movies and how much you're getting paid to make these movies and how much you can sell your movies for. So um, right now I think it's prime picking for independent producers, independent directors um, who are out there uh, kind of fighting the, you know, the big Paramount machine and stuff. Uh, not that we don't want to be a part of it. I think that'd be great. I'm but, uh, uh, wait, no, he can't pull me. No, 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 no. no. Honey, I'm Mother Diva. You got to wait your turn, sweetie. I am the mother of house music and the mother of the universe. Now, I want to, I've been looking for you, Dean, because I wanted to talk to you about this fabulous film that you uh, worked on with your brother. So tell us more about it and your role in it. We're talking about Sprawl? Yes. Uh, it's called Sprawl. Uh, I directed it. He produced it. Uh, I'm editing it right now. And uh, it's great. You know, a bunch of great... Final Cut Pro? Of course. You know, it, that is such a bitch. I cannot stand this digital editing. When I when I went to film school, it was three quarter inch. Yeah, you're you know, I know it's, it was so much easier. I mean, you have to have so much patience nowadays. I mean, because you got to download everything into the computer, and then so you know you got to. Oh, so so okay. So see, you 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 not you have budget. You have to delegate. <laughs> you have budget. I don't know. I mean, I don't, delegate. Yeah, I just find somebody who wants to do that for me, so that I don't have to. So how does distribution look for the project? Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, it was a very affordably made film. Uh, we've got a lot of great talent, a wonderful cast, great acting, a good story, you know, a, a wonderful producers. We've made a couple of films before, and uh, and Michael Madsen's in the picture, so that always helps. I love him. He's awesome. He's brilliant, you know, he's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful actor. Well, you're going to have to put Mother Diva in some of your films, Let's honey. Do it. Yes, Let's honey, do it. to wear in my house, representing oh, yeah. house music. Hey, you're going to have to put some house music. Whose house is it? Okay, it's no, Mother Diva's house. Diva's house. That's right. And did, we'll did tell you we wrote for Tyler Perry, too? Yes. I, did you want to plug that? Oh, come on. Tell us about that project God. before we go. <laughs> well, you know, was Meet the Browns. It was like uh, season you know, it was a couple. Two. It was a couple years ago. It's for season two or three of uh, Meet the Browns. We went out to Atlanta. That is awesome. A week there, hung out with Tyler Perry and his crew. And They're playing the music. They're telling us to wrap it up, honey. Okay? You know how they do in Hollywood. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. This is the fabulous Mother Diva. We're at the Graffiti PR Party in Hollywood. And I'm standing here with a fabulous singer and songwriter. And she's going to give us all of her information and tell us what she's doing for the Grammys. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, I'm Mother Diva. You. It's so nice to meet you, girl. I'm Mother Diva. Oh That's God. right. I'm keeping. Pregnant. You see, I'm keeping house music alive. <laughs> yeah. in my house head, honey, from Chicago. Wow. I came to shut it down Love up in it. here. Do it. That's Give right. <laughs> so, girl, tell us about your songs and all the wonderful things you're doing with the Grammys, honey. I'm so excited. I've just had two uh, big singles that have just come out. Uh, one of them that's been on the charts actually for the last 12 weeks. It's called Feel So Alive on the Billboard Dance Charts. And I had a big single called Naked that came out last year. And so putting together the record and working a lot in Nashville and really excited, just loving dance and house music. 
That is awesome, and that's why I'm here, because house music and dance music is so important. It's a spiritual, uplifting music, and one day, we are going to have our categories televised at the Grammys. we gotta, we got to fight for that. for it, 100%. Well, and I think that's the amazing thing about actually being an artist and what music can do is it can actually transcend time, so you can take a simple pop song and make it a fantastic dance song. That so, is so I'm awesome. I'm so grateful for what music does. It's just, it's amazing. Now, you're involved with the uh, Grammy technology side as well. I am. I actually have put together a website called uh, SohoMuse.com. It's the first 3D online social network for technology and for creative. Because it's important that we educate people, and technology is education. And that's what I'm all about, educating people and teaching them about this business, because this is a business. It is a business. And I think as artists, sadly, it's not just about being creative. I think you have to know what you're selling, how you're able to sell it, and really being committed to that, you know? And a lot of people don't realize that. I mean, social media is the greatest thing between your Twitter and your Facebook, YouTube fans. I mean, that's really, that's how we're building where our tours are going. And Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, honey. We're going to have to invest in graphite. Graphite is a precious metal that makes a computer go faster. So I'm letting everybody know about it because I'm educating people about the whole situation. Yes, we will get together. I would love Absolutely. that. I would really love that. You and me. Absolutely. Mama and I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, we'll be, and we'll be right back. This is a fabulous Mother Diva, and I'm here with this beautiful, beautiful model and spokesperson for all these wonderful products around the world. Her name is Dasha, and she's from Russia. She's here at the Graffiti PR Party. So tell us all the wonderful things that you're doing. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much for this compliment. So uh, I uh, do a very big project. Uh, it's called Perfect Girl. Uh, we're going to have a huge event uh, in uh, Miami on 21st. Uh, I'm going to perform and actually in uh, this event. Uh, in Fashion Week in Miami. Uh, we do this cosmetic line and do also charity stuff for children. We're helping children around the world. Uh, oh, that is so wonderful. The children are our future and they're very important. Yes, because uh, important be not just the beautiful and uh, running around telling that I'm beautiful, also helping children. So everything what we're doing, we're working with uh, uh, one uh, big charity uh, organization and uh, everything what we're doing, we uh, we take uh, uh, part of uh, our money to, to children around the world view. So how long have you been here in the United States? I'm here almost nine months. You having a good time? I have a great time. I love this. I love Hollywood so much and I'm just excited to be here and I'm enjoying every day. Have you ever been to Chicago? Because I'm from Chicago. We're the birthplace of house music and they love house music in Russia. You love house music? I have been in yes, I love, uh, I love Chicago and I uh, have been in Chicago like two weeks ago. Actually. But the important question, do you like house music, girl? You love, I love house music, and yes, I love house music. And, and house music is really big in Russia, isn't it? Yes, that's true, that's true. Yes. yes. It's a beautiful, uplifting music. See, I have to get that plug in, because see, I keep wearing these houses around my neck. I'm the ambassador for house music. House music. See, you see how smart she is? Everybody asked me about my house. She said, oh, house music. music. Ooh, I'm first. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you so much, sweetie, for talking. I'm going to talk to you and that girl. We're going to get together and have lunch or something. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. And we'll be right back. <laughs> 